Buhay! This is our campus tour vlog and welcome to Cebu Technological University, Argao Campus. I'm Jester Lamka, your campus tour guide for today. The gate of this university is not only the connection channel between the campus space and the outside world, but also the display window of the university to the outside world. Guard House. Guard House is consists of different existing individuals, yet the rules they play considered to be the same. The purpose of Guard House is paying attention to help guide students, professors, and other personnel upon having the ability of showing an attentive action towards the clients who would ask for help, guidance, and answering of questions. alumni. The Alumni Association is the one who originates the Balaisa Alumni. The Alumni Association holds meetings, conferences, and managerial gatherings. The venue and where the aforementioned activities will take place is specifically in the alumni house. Next stop is the Kahimsuk Center. Kahimsuk Center. This Kahimsuk Center is a manifestation of our love and care to the students, teachers, and employees. This is where the students' medical requirements take place. You, will, you may be an athlete or a student yourself. It promotes, develops, and maintains the health and general well-being of members of the school community. Beside SSG is the future science technology leaders of the Philippines. Their function includes the second higher governing body of the university. It focuses more about science, research, and technology since they are known for organization of science and future leaders. This is the Supreme Student Government. It is the highest governing body in the university. They represent all students upon hearing their voices and represent their voices in the CDU campus. As soon as you pass in this hallway, you can clearly identify the position from where SAO or the Students' Affairs Office takes place. College of Education Building The College of Education is exposing in-house faculty to pertinent teacher development activities that strengthen both their content and pedagogical orientation in their area of exper expertise. This is intended to give them a variety of learning opportunities to advantage your professional development and discipline understanding. The College of Education is surrounded with a sub-organization namely Southern Ripple's Publication, Electrical Office, Service Teaching Office, and ROTC Office. In between of the College of Education and Science and Technology Building, the MEET building is consists of designated offices. They are namely the Cashier's Office, Supply Office, Registrar, MIS Office, and as soon as you step in the second floor of the building, you will be able to recognize the presence of Admin's Office, office or known to be the Campus Director's Office and Human Resource Management Office. Welcoming you all to Science and Technology Building. In the first floor, it contains an extension offices, undergraduate studies, and classrooms for industrial engineering department. In the second floor, there are the classrooms for Bael, known as the Bachelor of Arts in English Language, and the Bullet, which is the Bachelor of Arts in English Literature, and a class department, which is the College of Arts and Sciences. In the third floor, there are the laboratory, psychology department, classrooms, and the old library. Next stop, the Justado Macapagal Building. Justado Macapagal Building is an old structure building of the College of Arts and Sciences and College of Education. As a result of wall cracking, students are no longer able to report in this building and help ensure the nearby safety of the professors and the students. To help assure their safety, they have been obliged to transfer to another building. Supplies and other auxiliary equipment are stole, stored inside. This building has benefited the maintenance officers for the meantime with the fact that for as soon as possible, it would be destroyed and a wide range of proposed four-story building will be there after exists and there is to be diminished. Next stop to CTU Oval. This is the CTU Oval. This is one of the campus hotspots where students have done their outdoor activities. Next stop to the CTU's new library. The new library. The goal of the school libraries is to make ideas and information accessible to both students and faculty. Materials in all formats are accessible through the libraries. Next stop is the agriculture building. Agriculture building. Donated by the local government unit of Argao. 
This is a two-story building with four classrooms for agriculture students. Healthy green leafy vegetables can be seen all throughout the different sides as you walk into a mini farm poultry by its department for consumption and profit making. It plays a positive role in improvement of the university. Next up to Center for Studies in Biodiversity. Center for Studies in Biodiversity focuses in food innovation which centers in creating a new product. So far, CDA's biodiversity, environmental research, and natural resources have lots of products like bread and pastries, seaweeds, and a lot more that they have already used. UM means utility model, and it is a form of heated light protection for minor or environmental innovations. They tend to protect the functional aspects of a product. Technological Cafeteria. Canteens make up the majority of Cebu Technological University students and staffs who can always bring a cut lunch from home will be able to get snacks and lunch as a result of this. In the front of the cafeteria, you can see a volleyball court with three existing mini store or canteen. There may be team building exercises taking place here as well as other supporting activities where students might typically keep an eye on an athlete. Busan Gymnasium. This primary goal of freshly polished dream at Cebu Technological University is to assess the students in gaining more strength and endurance for their physical well-being, important events, and other activities. However, since there is currently air conditioning testing, it is still in the process. The construction of the gym will benefit the students' overall development because they will be exposed in a variety of exercises designed to increase their endurance and fitness. Typically, this gym is a sizable area that is used for a variety of indoor sports. Society building. This building is a four-story building and it consists of different majors in each floor. In the first floor, there is garment technology. Second floor is the drafting technology and electronics technology. In the third floor is the information technology and computer technology. And lastly, in the fourth floor is the forestry. HMT office. This is where the faculties of College of Hospitality Management and Tourism stays and the students under the department are thereby documents were stored in that place. Also, it is accessible because in the second room, the HM department who will undergo laboratories has benefited the existing room. CHMT Mini Hotel. This building serves as a mini hotel and may also therefore the usage of senior and junior classroom to the College of Hospitality and Tourism students because usually they will act or perform practical demonstration as if they are acting in the actual hotel and restaurant industry. Hablon de Argao Extension Building, founded by DTI UCFRAC for collaboration with CTU Argao Extension Building, is a three-story building. Consists of a provocation laboratory, showroom for Hablon products, computer laboratory, food laboratory, and Hablon sa Cebu office. This also helps influence the students in the campus to have the ability in appreciating handmade products associated within the school. Thank you everyone for joining me in, in our campus tour. I hope that you enjoyed and got some information that I've shared to you. Goodbye and God bless.